Ladder above 9500, one bar Charlie, thanks. Jeez. Make sure you're strapped in. I am. I packed a carry-on bag for an entire week's trip. I'm a good packer. I can fit it all in there. But I did have a separate bag for my shoes. It was a it was a big ass bag of shoes, is what it was. <laughs> we totally forgot it. And now all I have is these like flip-flops that I'm wearing. The Grand Canyon said, what did it say? 1,500 few and then 2,500 for a scattered layer. It was getting stocked in and all these uh, thunderstorms are starting to build up on the screen there. So we think we're just gonna set it down in Albuquerque and relax for the rest of the day. All right, guys, this is what we woke up to in Albuquerque. It's actually raining. And right there's that big mountain that you could see yesterday. It's totally obscured by rain and clouds. And the freezing level is below the minimum IFR altitudes around here. So we're taking an airliner. She's getting ready. So the people at Double Eagle were nice enough to offer us a hangar. So we got the plane in the hangar for a couple of nights. Since the weather here turned to crap. So we got an airliner from Albuquerque to LA so that we could do the California part of our trip and then eventually we'll come back to the airplane. We'll explain more later but gotta have a bunch of backup plans. We don't want to be in this. The freezing level is so low that it would suck. So here she is. Her home for a few days. Now you feel bad about making me land? I did not make you land. You were tired. We have video evidence that you said you were done and you wanted to land in Albuquerque. And you agreed. I told you before we left that I would not press you if you said you were done. You were relieved and you wanted to land. Not true. Fake news. Look what we got, guys. A black Ford Mustang convertible. Because it's California. So, that's what we got. A convertible for the lady. Yay! Yeah, LAX, yo. <laughs> Three hours later. It was not. Very nice here. It's very expensive in Santa Monica, California. Well, because you gotta film the outside. It's a lot nicer than the inside. Yeah. This is a nice spot. It's right across from the beach. We made it. Any closer to the beach. It's called Hotel Milo. That's our, where our room is. Santa Monica at sunset. Or no, Santa Barbara. Sorry guys. I keep calling it Santa Monica because I think that song by I don't know, Cheryl Crow or whoever did it. It's Santa Barbara. We're in Santa Barbara. Babe. Yes. Are we in Santa Barbara or Santa Monica? Santa Barbara. 
Okay. Way cooler than Santa Monica. Allegedly. I think we're gonna try to go to that ho uh, restaurant way out there on that pier. Time for a walk, half a mile. Look, they got fancy sidewalks here. Santa Barbara, babe. Uh, Not Monica. Barbara. There's mountains over there. Santa Barbara Harbor in here. No, why don't you try? Santa Barbara Harbor. Yeah, good job. That's what that is right there. Santa Barbara Harbor. It's a tongue twister. Those are the killer of California ways, all the surfers ride. This is the largest wooden pier. What'd you say? I think it's the largest wooden pier between like LA and San Francisco or something. We're on a wooden pier. And they drive cars on them, a lot of them. And we are way out. Way out in the bay. It's so strange, I've never seen anything like it. Cheers, babe. It's like the super touristy one, but there's another beach right by there that's like really small and like off the beaten path that we're gonna go to. It starts with an A. I have to look it up, but so I wanna do that on the way tomorrow. She's discussing our plans. She has it figured out. She left her shoes at the house. We all, yeah, we all know about the shoe situation. Kevin needs shoes too. And a shirt, and a shirt. <laughs> but, but no. Hotel Milo. Or Milo. And they have a little courtyard where you can hang out by fire pits and drink your wine. Lots of flowers. We're in Santa Monica. Cheers. Pinkies up. up. Santa Barbara. <laughs> Stop saying Santa Monica. It says Santa Barbara. Say it with me, babe. Santa, Santa Barbara. Barbara. Boom. Sun gets up early in Santa Barbara. Jamie's still sleeping. I just snuck out. We found a little coffee house down the street. I'm gonna go grab some coffee and breakfast for him. Hey, cheers. Okay, check it guys. I'm in Santa Barbara, California, and I found the only Tesla in all of California. Right there. It's time to go. Time to go. Next stop. Probably. <laughs> no, we're going to St. Louis uh, Biscuits. St. Louis Biscuits is what I call it, but it's really called San Luis Obispo. Something. Like we're waiting on the valet guy to bring our car around. We are not fancy. They made us valet here. There was no other option. Well, it's a nice spot. Bye bye, Santa Barbara. Santa Barbara County Courthouse. That's where we have to go. <laughs> I don't even know why at this point. It's just, it's just principal at this point. Making us go to a courthouse before we can go Barbara see. County. They had to redo the whole entire thing. In 1925, there was a major earthquake, so they redid the whole thing in 1929, and that's what it's looked like ever since. And they still just use it like, like regular. It's so big and beautiful. Yeah, that's made it somewhere. Where'd we park? Avila Beach. Avila Beach in St. Louis Biscuit? St. Louis Biscuit. Well, sort of outside of there. Free to go over there. Babe, is the water warm? Um, I think I have frostbite. <laughs> California water is cold. 
We drove up here to St. Louis, Sabiscuit, and it was 90, when we left Santa Barbara, it was maybe like 68 degrees, 70 degrees. And on the way up here, we hit 95 degrees. Yeah, we had to cut over inland a little bit. And then when we got here, it said it was 65 degrees. The temperature changes wildly here. This little bee friend here was stuck in Kevin's shirt in his armpit. Kevin was like, something just bit me. He had to take off his shirt. And there's this little... Oh. Oh, That's gonna swell up a little bit. Hurts. That's gonna sting for a little bit, but then it'll feel fine. What a punk. What a jerk. I hate California. <laughs> he thinks he's a, it was a killer bee and that he's needs the anti-venom and his whole right side of his body is going no. Florida beaches. <laughs> oh. No, no, no. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm straight. You were making fun of me and I got stung by a killer bee. You won't even get on the rock. Shoe shopping. We... Jamie left all of her shoes at home. So now we have to find a pair of shoes because she wants to be fancy. Like Applebee's on a date night. Hello. The dresses that I brought. so far all I've had to wear is these flip flops <laughs> crisis averted we're back on track here we go next stop uh big sir I think Coast Highway here, and then Jamie had to pee. So we both had to pee. We've been on this road for a long time. So we found a dirt pile by gotta, a tree. You gotta go over there. On the edge of a Look cliff, over the fog. <laughs> we're we're, and we're VFR far on top. This is our Californication. If you tumble down that. You're in big trouble. I don't know if the cameras show that, but that's probably a couple hundred foot drop down towards that tree. And then another 50 foot drop down to the water. Okay, so the rooms get smaller and smaller in Monterey at Hotel 1110. This is what we got. Whoa! We are right near the beach. I've got to get one of those two brown things. It looks so classy. 
Babe. Let's go. It looks good. Come on. Just relax. I just rode in a convertible for four hours. I can't spray my hair. Can a girl spray her hair? I mean, seriously. Can you just give me a second? No. I'm hungry. Just for that, now I'm gonna put on some lipstick. Okay, guys, so we stopped at our hotel. It's Fancy's Mansion Boutique Hotel. And we asked for a Mexican restaurant. We're in Monterey, California. Fancy place in California. He sent us to this grocery store. He did say it was a taqueria. But... Yeah, we asked for a Mexican place, and he said, oh, this place is amazing. We walked a mile down the road, and yeah. we're basically in a gas station. And it was very difficult to work out. We don't know what the food's gonna be like. The drink choices are just whatever's in and the, the gas station. <laughs> yeah. This is so strange. Monterey Beach. There's, I don't know if you guys can see, but there's a wall of sea fog behind her that's about, I don't know, half mile offshore, right behind those sailboats. They're very, they're very laid back. Surprise. They're very laid back. Surprisingly. Oh, and BC Dubs, the food at the gas station. The gas station Mexican was amazing. Thank you, Abuela.